A number of years ago, I travelled down to Kaukaringi to do some research on a functional capacity in physical literacy with school children. And when I was down there, I was just totally amazed at the capability of what the children could do. The surface was divoted where there was grass or vegetation that was bendy and all but one child ran in bare feet. And I'd been working for 20 years with elite athletes and going down there I could see that there was some talent here that was matching what I saw at the elite level. Whether it was running or jumping or throwing a ball, uh, playing football, it was just incredible uh, what they could do. There was a real X factor about it. Dr Lee came to Kalkarindi School when I was the principal out there and we were recording the data on the kids. Dr Lee said, these kids are really good and how can they be so good when they're running in bare feet in really poor conditions and they haven't had any training? And so that got us interested, well, you know, why are they so good? And it turns out they're just naturally really good. But what we did find is when we looked at the data that we collected, that the kids were suddenly interested in data. And if you've taught for as long as I have with Aboriginal children, they are not interested in data. I kept in contact with Jeff over the years and then he contacted me one day and said, we've got an opportunity to do more research. And we've talked about the capacity of the children and we always talked about how we could improve their education. And so we thought maybe we can enhance their education through their physical capabilities. And so rather than in the typical STEM classroom of being given dry theoretical topics to learn, we thought why not collect their own data of what they do in the playground or in their PE classes, take their own data into the classroom and then use that as their topic so it becomes engaging for them because it's about themselves. 20 years ago we started working with Australia's elite sporting bodies and we were looking at ways to measure athletes in ways they hadn't been measured before. And what we found there was that we can use very small portable devices and we can find out almost everything about how an athlete moves and create all kinds of data sets. So when Jim contacted me about this exciting work that he was doing with kids in the Northern Territory, it was a really exciting moment where we can take what we'd learned from elite sports and translate that into an educational context. Because our business is working with gadgets and what kid doesn't love to play with gadgets? So what we found when Dr Lee had this data on the kids, we showed the kids the data and they were immediately interested because it was about them. It's not about rainfall or, you know, population of rats in Darwin or something. It was about them. And we also learned that if we could show them how they could influence that data to make themselves look better, they were also fascinated with that. So Dr Lee is a great athlete, so he taught the kids how to run. He taught them a good jumping technique. So they would then take those skills, repeat the, the test and do better. And we'd graph it. And so they wanted to do graphing. It's very hard to get a child to graph something they're not interested in. They say, why, why bother? I'm not interested in graphing. So this shows you improving. Suddenly they're interested in that. So that was a that was a huge moment for us. The other thing that it's really hard to teach kids to hypothesise and to make predictions if they're not interested in something. But if they're, if it's about them or their mates and it's about how good they are, they like to predict things. They say, oh, and one boy said, if I go home and get my running shoes can I, and come back, I'll run faster. Okay, so he, he made that link because he was running in bare feet. Uh, so that sort of thing, the other kids saying, oh, I reckon if we did this, it would be quicker. So teaching them those, it's those thinking skills, the higher level thinking, it, this uh, stem fit draws that out naturally. We don't have to try and pummel them into their heads, you know, here's some data, make a prediction. They're making the predictions themselves. And that's the higher thinking that we're trying to get. And it's really hard to teach. So when Jeff came to us with some seed funding, we thought, okay, here's a real opportunity. We've developed some really highly advanced elite level technologies, and we were able to simplify that and customize it so that it can work really well with children 
and work with their level of expertise with technology and their understanding of numbers and get something really useful for the classroom. One of the really interesting things that we found is that there's a kind of appetite for technology with children and there's an intrinsic interest that they have. And so the technology became almost a gateway for kids interested in what they're doing in the playing field to get excited and interested in the classroom. And it's all thanks to what we did in elite sport and that translational opportunity that we found to move into the educational domain. The Australian curriculum is very crowded. So if you can teach measurement in science, technology and maths, you're covering a whole lot of areas that are really hard to fit in. And plus the kids like it. So what we have today with STEMFIT is really a comprehensive educational program. We've got the technologies and we've got the lesson plans and we've got a complete mapping to the Australian curriculum which makes it a really high value experience for teachers and for schools and of course the children. <laughs>